Hello, artists. Today, we will be learning about the history of pinch pots. This pinch pot was found in Ireland and is dated from about 3500 to 3400 BCE. That means this pinch pot is over 5,500 years old. That's really old. Pottery is the word used to describe containers made with clay. Sometimes you will hear the word ceramics used too. Pottery is a type of ceramics. Pottery has been made all over the world by every culture throughout history. Pinch pots are one of the oldest forms of art, dating back to about 12,000 years ago. According to the Museum of London, during the Neolithic period, or New Stone Age, people began farming and making pottery for the first time. Clay was shaped into pots for storing and cooking food. This pot was made and decorated around 5,000 years ago. It was excavated from an archaeological site in Heathrow. Heathrow is located in the United Kingdom. Can you see where the person who made it used their fingers to make a pattern around the rim? Let's find out more about how prehistoric pots were made. First, natural clay is crushed before adding water. Where is natural clay found? Near river and stream beds, gullies and canyons. When the clay is ready, it is shaped into a sphere. Most small pots were made as pinch pots or thumb pots working from a single ball of clay. To make larger pots, coils of clay were added to the thumb pots. Potters call this process hand building. The clay is opened out into a bowl shape using a pinching technique. Next, the rim of the bowl is formed. The inside of the bowl is expanded and formed using a large pebble as a beater. After drying the bowl for a few hours, the inner and outer surfaces are smoothed using a flint pebble. The pot is decorated with maggot impressions. Why do you think it has this name? Pots could also be decorated using bird bones or with fingernails. This pot is ready to be decorated using a small whipped cord ring. You'll notice that the cord ring leaves a mark or impression of the texture of a maggot. The finished pot is dried for several days before being fired. Did you know pit firing is the oldest known method for firing pottery? Firing pottery is the process of turning the clay into stone. You can see an example of a pit fire in the upper right hand photo. Pit firing goes all the way back to 29,000 to 25,000 BCE. The earliest known kiln or special oven for heating up clay and changing it to stone was found in Iraq and it dates to about 6,000 BCE. On the right is a picture of a modern day electric kiln. You can see the bright orange ceramic vessels that have been heated up to extreme temperatures inside the electric kiln. This is what turns the clay into stone. A pinch pot is a hand-built ceramic pot made by pinching clay into the shape of a small bowl. Here is a quick look at pinch pots from all over the world. As you look at the pictures, notice the variety of designs on the foot and rim of the pots. This pinch pot was created in Japan on the other side of the world. It was used for drinking tea. In other words, it's a teacup. It was created in the early 17th century. Did you know the black coloring comes from a special process called raku firing? 
This Native American pinch pot comes from the Cherokee Nation. It's dated from about 900 to 1500 CE. It was likely used for storage and cooking. Did you know Cherokee Indians decorated pinch pots using stones, wood, bone, and other materials found in nature? This pinch pot was created in Egypt. That's a country in Africa. It was used for worship and offerings in religious ceremonies. This pinch pot is dated from 3900 to 3650 BCE. Here's an amazing fact. Ancient Egyptians believed that objects could magically come alive. What do you think this bowl with human feet would do if it came to life? This pinch pot was created in Peru, which is located in South America. It was used for food pep preparation. Did you know this bowl would be used with a pestle or a stick to grind the herbs or food? just like you see in the illustration at the bottom of this screen. This pinch pot was created during the, the mid 15th through 16th century. Do people still make pinch pots today? The answer is yes, but why? You learn that your hands are a tool for shaping clay. It forces you to slow down, focus, and think about the material. You can use the technique to build more challenging ideas. At some point, the practice of creating a pinch pot started as a necessity for making an object to hold food or water. Later, this turned into the foundation of creating a decorative vessel or container. And later still, making a pinch pot became the basis for learning how to manipulate clay. Here are some examples of pinch pots made today. Here you will see a wide variety of functional and decorative pinch pots. Today we will be creating our own pinch pot artwork following the conclusion of this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned a lot about the history of pinch pots.